hi guys in this video i am going to show you that if you have the payment pending into your paypal account then how you can accept that specific payment from your paypal account itself so basically i got an uh, i got a payment from my client and he sent me 20 dollars so that dollars was in new zealand dollars right so uh, i got an email so let me show you one email so here you can see that I got this email of uh, $20 which are New Zealand dollars. So this email confirms that JS uh, specific name and company with PayPal to complete the payment you need to accept or decline it within 30 days by clicking here. So uh, that means if I am not accepting within 30 days then that amount would be refunded to the person who has sent me the amount. So of course I need to accept the payment as soon as possible because in that way I could able to accept the amount which he has sent. So one more thing is like uh, you can view the transaction details by logging into your PayPal account and clicking the activity page. Alright, so this payment is pending. What was the reason of this pending payment is like uh, this payment is pending because it was sent in a currency that you don't have in your account. So as you know that we can uh, accept the currency, uh, we can uh, set the currency uh, in a uh, in only two uh, currencies uh, we can set at a time. For example, I have Indian rupees as a uh, as a uh, currency and another is US dollars so which are primary which is primary currency right so we can set um, two currencies by default and if we have any other type of currency then at that moment uh, the PayPal is just uh, telling us that this currency is not supported by your PayPal account so you need to manually accept that amount so that you get paid so that's uh, this dollar was New Zealand dollars that's why I got this email to accept the amount which was pending on my PayPal account. So you can see that here I have this amount, uh, this pending amount. So let me click on this one. So once I am clicking on this specific payment option, then I will be redirected to uh, the details page. Here you can see that all the details are over here like who has sent me and what is the transaction ID and how much amount I got. So at the end uh, you can see over here like your payment is waiting uh, like uh, i have the i have two buttons which are accept and decline so if i am clicking on accept so that means the payment would be accepted by me and uh, the the amount would be transferred into my paypal account otherwise after 30 days that amount would be refunded to the person who has sent the amount all right so let me click on accept so I have clicked on accept. So let's see what will be happening af afterwards. So yeah, so here I am getting this uh, message that this much dollars were there and I received 18.43 New Zealand dollars after receipt fee of 1.57 New Zealand dollars is deducted. Please select what you would like to do this uh, with this payment. I mean, accept this payment in New Zealand dollars and create a balance in the currency deny this payment and return the money to the sender so of course i am interested to accept this new zealand dollars so that i uh, get the amount into my paypal account so let me submit this one so i am clicking on submit button right now so once i will be clicking on this specific button then that amount would be transferred to my uh, bank account uh, uh, to my PayPal account and then automatically transfer to my bank account so you can see over here like payment accepted you have successfully accepted this payment the New Zealand dollars balance has been opened so what do you want to do next return to the account history view the details of this transaction go to my account so let me return back to my summary so if I am clicking on this summary so uh, yeah, you can see over here the uh, pending uh, label has been removed and uh, actually I had to, uh, I had another issue with the PayPal account. So I had some pending amount that I need to pay to my PayPal. So that amount has been deducted from here and uh, 543 rupees are still pending to pay to the, to add to the PayPal account. All right. So here you can see that this amount is received now so you can see here like we have the label payment received 
so currently i accepted the amount and that amount has been uh, added to my paypal account all right so this was what uh, which i was trying to show to you and of course this was really helpful for you as well if you are facing such type of issues or maybe you are interested to uh, solve this type of problem so basically what i wanted to make you sure is like in uh, sometimes we try to accept the amount and we try to uh, think about that uh, we are not uh, our amount is pending but someone has sent us the amount already so how we can solve the issue so this is the minor thing that we have to know about is like we need to accept and uh, accept that amount which is not supporting to our primary currency so let me show you the currency which is supported so for example i am going to yeah this is my bank account so can you use you can so you can see over here like we have the indian rupees which is primary currency and then we have the us dollars so this is also uh, over here and this is new zealand dollars right so currently i have accepted this much amount 18.43 this was the first time i have uh, used this specific i have uh, received the amount in new zealand dollars so in us dollars i had uh, 1408 that i need to add to my account so uh, 865 has been added to my account and uh, the rest of the amount is already uh, reflecting over here like 543 so you can see that currently i have three currencies so if uh, someone will be sending me the amount in new zealand dollars afterwards then that would be accepted automatically because i have accepted this currency now so this setting would be saved and in future i don't have needed to uh, click on that specific accept button because i have set that i am interested to accept this type of currencies as well so i hope you got the basic understanding uh, of how to solve this pending uh, payment problem so if you are thinking this video was useful for you just click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon and also like this video so i will be adding uploading lot of other videos related to the problems of paypal shopify and other technical issues so that you get the solution out of whatever uh, you are facing right so thank you so much once again so see you in the next video thank you so much for watching this video all the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free so in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things Please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos. In the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any. Have a nice day ahead.